Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are known to not be supporters of President Donald Trump. Will the couple remain in the USA if Mr. Trump wins the election? Read more read more related articles Meghan Markle, 39, and Prince Harry, 36, resettled in the USA with their son Archie Harrison, 1, following their step away from the royal family in March. The Sussexes have been living in a multi-million pound mansion in Montecito, Santa Barbara since the summer and seem to be happy with their new life stateside. While Meghan and Harry may be disappointed if Donald Trump wins the election, they are likely to stay put in the USA. A native Californian, Meghan has said she is glad to be home since returning to the States. In August the Duchess featured in a video alongside celebrated activist Gloria Steinem. During their chat that was filmed in Meghan and Harry's back garden, Gloria welcomed Meghan home. The Duchess responded, Thank you. Me too, for so many reasons. Meghan and Harry are known not to be fans of Mr. Trump and while the couple have not explicitly aligned themselves with one party ahead of the election they are understood to be gunning for Joe Biden. Before her marriage to Prince Harry, Meghan expressed her thoughts on Mr. Trump in a TV interview. Speaking on the nightly show with Larry Wilmore in 2016, Meghan said, Of course Trump is divisive. Think about female voters alone. I think it was in 2012, the Republican Party lost the female vote by 12 points. That's a huge number and as misogynistic as Trump is. And so vocal about it. That's a huge chunk of it. While Prince Harry did not explicitly mention Trump as he encouraged Americans to vote in the upcoming election, some perceived his words to be a veiled dig at the presiding president. Speaking in a video to announce Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2020, Harry said, This election, I'm not going to be able to vote here in the US. But many of you may not know that I haven't been able to vote in the UK my entire life. He added, When the bad outweighs the good, for many, whether we realize it or not, it erodes our ability to have compassion and our ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes. Because when one person buys into negativity online, the effects are felt exponentially. It's time to not only reflect but act. As we approach this November, it's vital that we reject hate speech, misinformation and online negativity. Mr. Trump later reacted to Harry's comments in a Washington press conference. Referring to Meghan, Mr. Trump said, I'm not a fan of hers. He added, and I would say this dot and she probably has heard that dot but I wish a lot of luck to Harry because he's gonna need it. While Meghan and Harry may not be Mr. Trump's number one fans, they are highly unlikely to ditch the US if he wins the election. Having settled in California, Meghan and Harry are currently working towards launching their new non-profit foundation Archule. Archul is expected to focus on a range of causes including mental health, tackling racism and social media use.